Hello and a warm welcome to La Ville Lumière, as it's known, the city of enlightenment, Paris, but it's a very rainy Parc des Princes as we look out on the stadium. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Bayern Munich. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Kaylon Navas starts in goal. Alessandro Florenzi starts with Levin Kurzawa as fullbacks. Marco Verratti starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. The highly regarded Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Corentin Torriso in central midfield. And the starting role at attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Well, when you talk about Kylian Mbappe, you talk about a pace merchant, somebody who's very difficult to stop if you're an opposing defender, Lee. Can he put them ahead? And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. Well, he's every right to be angry. The players are not executing his game plan today. A slide draw pass. Icardi! And it's a goal for Paris Saint Germain to square this game. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. It was so quick to get out from the back, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. Well, a penny for his thoughts right now, Derek. Plan B, I think, is needed. He could pick out a teammate, but dealt with efficiently. Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And he gets up for the header. And quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, these PSG fans are desperate for a goal, pushing their team forward. Will they get another chance? This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Obviously, it's a tapping, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. A different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, 
Well, he's furious, and why not? They've thrown this lead away. And that is that. The referee blows for full time. So many people thought this would be a very tight, tense contest. And Lee Dixon, that's exactly how things turned out. Well, it's a bit of an understatement to say we're at the business end of the competition. Very, very tight. Can't separate them. First leg was a good one. Second leg has to be a better one because there's a final round the corner. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary and joining me is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And based on what we've seen so far in this semi-final tie, Bayern Munich have the advantage going into the second leg. It is Bayern Munich against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, thanks Derek, we had a cracker of a first leg, plenty of action at both ends, goals. How important is that away goal rule? We're just about to find out. And so the starting 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. David Alaba plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Kingsley Coman starts with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Kaylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Idrissa Gay, Di Maria, Mbappe, Mbappe, surely, and there it is, a goal, and at the moment, a goal that stands to take them through. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed. So, and is this the moment for Lewandowski? Oh, perfect timing as far as that goal's concerned. And not much time for the opposition to get back into it. Ahead on away goals. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And then it's probably the easiest tap-in he will ever get. Lovely stuff. Well, Derek, the frustration's boiling over on the touchline. He's not happy at all with the last five or ten minutes. Well, Derek, it's never nice to lose a semi-final, but on away goals, it's very, very cruel. But everybody knows the rules before the tournament starts. Heartbreaking for one set of lads, joyous for the other. Really looking forward to the final now. Not long and hopefully we get a classic.